Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Everybody continuing the Everton save Tele the Toffees on Football Manager 2017. Uh, and you join me on the season preview screen. We are on to season two, and as you can see, we are expected by the media to finish in seventh place for the upcoming season, which isn't too bad a finish. I think once again, a good European finish is what we want. Last season, of course, we came third. Uh, we had a dreadful end to the season, failing to win our last three games, losing to West Brom and Sunderland, meant that uh, we did have a chance to win the title and we ended up in third place, which uh, wasn't really how I imagined things would go. I thought it would be a lot closer contested, but uh, it's not to be. Uh, but anyway, before we get into today's game, which is against Man United, yeah, we are opening the season against Man United, the champions. What a way to start the season. That will be coming very shortly, but first of all, I've got to show you some signings. So, uh, cue the music. And let's show you who I signed in the tunnel. I broke my transfer record, or Everton's transfer record. So I have only made four signings so far, but there is more to come. I still have over £40 million in the bank. I'm going to start off with the lowest profile player here, which is Mark Rocker. Uh, only 20 years old. He is a Spanish international, but he's never been capped. Uh, he's a deep line playmaker. We signed him from uh, Middlesbrough, actually. No, sorry, Espanyol. He was on loan at Middlesbrough last season. And uh, he played 35 games and had a fairly solid rating. Uh, we got him on a uh, free transfer. He was, you know, his contract was up, so we jumped in there. Only 20 years old, looks very decent. He's had a couple of uh, pre season games. He actually scored a goal in one of them, so that's good. Uh, and a free transfer, and he's valued at £8 million, so I think that's a good piece of business. His current ability is not bad for a 20 year old. And he's got room to grow, so uh, we may see more of this guy in the future. He'll be kind of a backup to. Um, to Ogzan, but um, yeah, he looks very decent. The other three players uh, make up £46.5 million pounds spent on transfer money. Uh, starting off with Davi Klaassen, the Dutch uh, attacking midfielder, bought from Ajax. Initial fee, fee of £13.5 million pounds, could rise to £16. Uh, I'm very happy with the signing. He scored five goals in uh, pre-season friendlies in five appearances, which is really good stuff. Playing him as a shadow striker, we're going to try a, a slightly tweaked tactic with uh, this season, or at least for now anyway. This guy looks incredible. His mentals look great. Physically, he looks good. He's got the stamina. He's got really good fitness uh, and technically great passing, really good first touch. He looks like he could be a really good like attacking midfielder for us. And, you know, if Barkley ever has an off day, then we've got this guy to rely on. So, uh, kind of a replacement for Ronaldinho. Of course, Ronaldinho was with us last season and he's retired. So, Klassen kind of filled that gap and he's going to be kind of like competition for Ross Barkley. Next up is Saido Berahino uh, is at Everton now. His contract at West Brom was up, so we jumped in there. And uh, we've got him on a Bosman, but we do have to pay a £3 million compensation fee because Berahino is under 24. Same similar thing that happened with uh, Danny Ings when he signed for Liverpool. They had to pay like a tribunal fee to Burnley. Uh, but yeah, Berahino's in. Uh, I think it's a really good free transfer. He's earning £77,000 a week. We got him down quite a bit. He wanted over 100 And we managed to get him down to £77,000, which is really good. As you can see, he scored eight goals in five appearances uh, pre-season. I know they're against lower teams. He did score four goals in about 30 minutes in one game. But um, yeah, I'm really happy for a free transfer. I'm happy how this guy looks. An advanced forward. If we play with two strikers, him and Lukaku next to each other could be really, really good. He's English as well, so homegrown. Finishing, fantastic. Really good dribbler of the ball. Good first touch. Uh, he's fantastic off the ball as well. Good composure, good pace. Hopefully this guy will bag some goals for us. For West Brom last season, he got 10 league goals. Uh, didn't score anywhere else. So 10 league goals. Not as many as Lukaku, but hopefully he can... Bag some goals for us. I think at West Brom, he's been after a new club for quite a while. And now he has one. It's Everton. And last, but by no means least, it is Everton's record transfer. It's Felipe Anderson, formerly of Lazio. We paid £30 million for him, beating the previous transfer record, which was Lukaku, £28 million. Uh, and Anderson is coming. He can play either side of the wing as an inside forward or as a winger. Dribbling and crossing are really good. First touch is fantastic. Excellent technique. Determination 16, Flair 18, Vision 16, Acceleration and Pace both 17. I like the look of Felipe Anderson. Um, I've used him before on Football Manager, my very first save with Lazio. He was a big part of that um, when we did that for our first save. And as you can see, he's been instrumental in Lazio's success. Um, been a prominent starter, bagged some goals, got a few assists last season as well, averaged over seven. Hopefully we can bring out the best in him because uh, he looks like he could be a fabulous signing. And I would hope so, as he is our record signing, or Everton's record signing. 
So only four players. There are more to come though. I want to sign another centre back because uh, we only have two now. Uh, and um, I might get like, one more backup striker because that was one area we need to improve is up front. Because Lukaku scored a few goals last time, but he could get more. And you know, elsewhere, we didn't really have a lot of backup for him that was any good. Nyase got a few goals, but not enough for me. Uh, so uh, I think up front is an area we need to improve and we need a new centre back because uh, Jagielka is getting on. Uh, we do have Duarte, of course, which was, was really good apart from those last games. He got sent off, of course. Uh, but Ashley Williams has gone and uh, Funes Mori has gone on loan again. So uh, we need to make some changes. So as you can see on here, Oviedo went to Bournemouth for £3.6 million. Pounds, a very early departure in the transfer window. Um, started the season well last time around, but um, I stopped playing him. Only seven appearances all season. Uh, yeah, just didn't play enough, so I didn't really see a point in keeping him. He's always been like kind of a backup player for that left back. He's always been sort of the understudy to Baines, if you like. Uh, and we've moved him on. We got profit for him. Bournemouth paid £3.6 million, so that's not the end of the world. There you see the confirmation Ronaldinho has retired. A few players released on free transfers, McElhaney being one of them. Uh, no one else here that's really of any note. Uh, Brendan Galloway's gone. There's a lot of like, youngsters in the team that we're never really going to feature in the team. Guys like Galloway, uh, Holgate's gone on loan. Um, a lot of players that we're never really going to feature in the team. So Galloway's gone. Uh, Aaron Lennon's been sold as well. I had uh, comments saying sell him. He's not very good. I kind of agreed. He was okay. But um, again, only 14 appearances. Didn't score a goal. He only scored one FA Cup goal and four assists. I would have expected better. And uh, yeah. Uh, so he's been sold. Um, Sassuolo went in for him. £3.8 million up front and potentially rising to 4.7. Uh, they see Williams has gone to Sunderland. Only £300,000. Could have got more for him, but that's annoying. Um, this was a controversial one. James, James McCarthy's gone to Sunderland. They paid £27 million for him. So uh, we doubled our money and we got a good few seasons out of McCarthy as well. Only 18, play 18 games played last season. Two goals. Fantastic goals they were and two assists. Had a really good season, but um, yeah, I sort of didn't play him as much as I did uh, Idris Aguay, so he's gone. Uh, Megid has gone on loan, uh, Chalice has gone on loan, as has Rodriguez, uh, Lucas Senior, the regen we got last season, Holgate, Robles, Funes Mori, Liam Walsh, lots of loans. So uh, we do still have 49, oh, well, Nero's makes no difference, 50 million in the transfer budget, meaning we could break our record again but uh, we only have £36,000 wage budget available. So centre-back is where we need to improve and I need, I'm need i struggling to be honest because we're trying, trying to find someone that we can afford and that doesn't have an extensive wage demand. For example, we looked at Benassia, the uh, Bayern Munich centre-back. Sensible fee, but he wanted 110 grand a week and that would make him a highest paid player. And I don't think our highest paid player should be a defender, frankly. So uh, we'll see what we do, but sent the bats. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I will read them, and hopefully by the time we get to the uh, end of the window, we'll have a good centre back. Because as I said, we only have two. We need backup. So off screen, only five friendlies played. We had like a tour, but there were no actually actual matches organised, which was a bit strange. But we played five pre-season friendlies, starting off with a 2-2 draw against Hover Berlin, Klassen and Lukaku getting the goals there. Lukaku is still with the club, as you can see. Didn't mention him at all, so he's still here. Unless someone makes that extensive offer like I want, like 60 million plus. Uh, Besiktas was a 1-0 win, Delefei was scored there. Uh, Colm beat us 2-1, Klassen got our goal there. Uh, a 6-2 win against Modena, who are a low league Italian side. Rocco scoring there. Niasse scoring a couple of goals and Klaassen getting a hat-trick. And against Southport, I played a four strength team, didn't really need to, Berahino scored. It wasn't a 30 minute four goals, it was a 30 minute hat-trick, but he scored all four goals in the first half. Yeah, against Southport, they're a feeder club, we have a friendly against them every year. So, that's that. Um, I think there's nothing else to talk about, I don't think there is anything else. But um, yeah, I need defenders, so let me know what you think is out there. So let's jump into, into today's game then. Uh, Man United, the only game we're going to be playing today because I've gone through transfers and the like. So we'll only, only be playing the one game today. I did actually have a look at defensive midfielders. Looks at Fellaini actually, re-signing Fellaini. His fee wasn't that bad, but I think he's gone somewhere else. There have been some mad transfers actually. I'll show you those in a second. Um, but um, yeah, Man United playing a 4-4-1-1. Now last season, of course, we played Man United five times. We beat them once, which was in the... EFL Cup, we had a draw in the league, and then they beat us the other three times, they knocked us out of the FA Cup, and uh, they beat us, um, did they beat us both? No, they beat us in a testimonial in a, in a friendly, and then they beat us in the league, so uh, that's what happened there, 
And of course they won the league. So uh, we need to try and get a bit of revenge on Man United. To start the season off with a win against the champions will be a fantastic way to start the season. Now Kiko Kissi is carrying a bit of a knock. But um, could he play? I don't think he could. He's got a strained neck. So he, he will have to miss the first game. We will bring Stecklenburg in. Okay, so I, I sent off the tactic, almost started the match and realised that I wasn't actually recording because I had to cut it because of an interruption. Uh, but yeah, the team of playing looks like this. Stecklenburg, Baines, Duarte, Jagielka, Coleman, Gway, Ogzan, Barkley, Felipe Anderson, De La Feu, Berahino, uh, a bench of Nazis, St. Graven, Klaassen, Lukaku, Santan, Balassi, and Matty Fold because we have no other centre-backs that are actually any good and even then he's two stars. So uh, that's their team. Uh, Man United's team looks like this. 4-4-1-1, De Gea, Short, Nastasic, Smalling, and Lyon. Martial, William, Camacho, Mkhitaryan, Mata and Ibra. Nostalgics they signed at £19.75 million a week to him. I just looked at how much they're paying him and it's £155,000 a week. We cannot have afforded that. Much like we couldn't have afforded the fee they paid Chelsea for William, which was £86 million. British transfer records. Also some other ma mad signings. Uh, Diego Costa signed for Man City, who also signed Hamas Rodriguez. Uh, Grimaldo went to like, Arsenal or something. Liverpool signed De Vrij. There's been some mental transfer records going around. Transfer deals. It's been crazy. But, um, yeah, that's what we're playing. Uh, our tactic is a counter flexible. Those instructions there. Uh, I'll pa pause the video if you want to see those. Let me know if there's too many instructions. I think 11 might be too many, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then, uh, did we do a team talk in the end? We did not do a team talk. Uh, let's say... Revenge. Let's try that and start the match. Hopefully I won't see some red cards because of that, because that might happen. But let's see. Match is on the way. Okay, Man United so far having all the possession. We've yet to have a shot. Hopefully we do find one soon. I'm running out of time. I'm going to go for the early crosses and shoot on site instead. Let's see if that helps our case at all. Another corner here by United, headed away by Anderson. And now Lyon puts the ball in again. Matter. Marshall's at far post and it's caught by Stecklenburg. Man United having all the chances so far. We've uh, yet to get out of our half, really. Keep losing the ball here. We can't keep it for a second. Sure. There's the cross. It's cleared by Duarte. And Delafeu heads it onwards. But William claims the ball back. Here is a Camacho to Matter. Mkhitaryan now. And Ibra's there. Ibra hits the post and it's cleared by Seamus Coleman. Good defensive work by the Irishman. That's another corner for United here. They've already had six corners and we're not even a half an hour through the game. We've had a shot on target. That's a start. 36 minutes in. Now we've four shots on target. So I don't know where they came from. Obviously going structured seems to work. Half time. Nil nil. United having more possession and more shots. Again, I think we need to go for revenge. Uh, we're not playing too badly. Well, Barkley's a bit quiet on a 6-5 and Berahino on a 6-6. Not really had a great deal to do. Let's change Berahino's role. Let's try and make him a poacher. Let's see if that works. And uh, Barkley just playing a, a, a support role. A uh, bit of a change up, but hopefully it doesn't affect things too much. Let's see if we can go out in the second half and uh, get a result from this. Against United, the champions, it would be great to win, but I'll take a point. It's not a bad result, but uh, hopefully we don't concede because United having a lot of shots at the moment. Lion free kick and uh, it's a goal. Martial. Four minutes into the second half. Going attacking. I want to go. We're at the bottom table because uh, this is the 12.45 game. No one else has played a game yet. So uh, this is the first game. Literally the very first game of the new seasons. And it's third against first. We see the goal again. It was from the uh, Lion free kick. And um, Ibra with the first header. And Martial pokes home from six yards out. They've got another corner here. And it's gone in again. And that was Nastasic, I think. Two goals in as many minutes. Great. And they've got the ball again here. We've had nine shots, five on target. We should really have a goal. It's a bit annoying, but we won the ball well here, and that was cut out by uh, Christopher Mike Smalling. Ibrahimovic, here's Mata, it's 3-0. They've destroyed us in this half. Right, changes. Now, Delefeu off, because you've done nothing. Balassi on wing attack. How are we meant to come back from this? Uh, Barkley off, you've done nothing. Klaassen on, Shadow Striker. 3-0 at home It's just... That's all. We didn't have a defeat that bad the whole of last season. We've just not been in the game at all today. 11 shots and 6 on target, but we haven't seen any of them. Barry Hino's on a 6.3 as well. Let's get a great off and let's get a striker up there. I want a goal. I just want to score a goal. This is not going to be a good start to the season. Anderson's on the ball. And he's been dispossessed, but Barry Hino's through. What is that? Come on! I pay you 77 grand a week and that's what you give me. Absolute disgrace. Oxfam free kick. 
Uh, he's got it back here again. Another chance to put the ball in. And it's caught by De Gea. Ten minutes left. We're 3-0 down. Hopefully United don't score a fourth. Baines has got the ball here. Jagielka to Ogzan. Seamus Coleman to Balassi. Lukaku. Balassi again. This is good work. Where was this earlier? Carson's in there. Debut goal. That's better. But uh, it's 3-1. We've left this far, far too late. Hold on though. 83rd minute. Another highlight. Jagielka's on the ball. Coleman. Klassen. Balassi. Lukaku. It's 3-2. No way. No way. Oh my god. Are we going to do a Crystal Palace? There's been four goals. Five. Yeah, five goals in this half. Oh my god. Right. One more goal. One more goal. Come on. 86th minute. Right. We're going. Change things. Higher up. Route one. Come on, the worst that can happen is we go 4-2 down. If we get a point from this, I'm going to be stunned. Marshall uh, hits the post and it's cleared by Coleman. We've got two and a half minutes, we're injury time now, to get something from this. It looks like it's going to be full time. There it is, we came close. Oh, they had my popes up then, but that, fir that the first three goals, that was not good enough. Uh, Delefeu was awful. Maybe he's not, be he's not good on that right-hand side, so I don't know. Barkley, awful. Berahino, awful. He should have scored. He really should have scored. That is disappointing. Our signing's not really doing well there. Klaassen got the goal in the end for us, or one of them anyway. And then, who scored the other one? It was Lukaku, wasn't it? We're bottom of the table. So, <laughs> there you go. But, I mean, look at possession and eat. Possession, like... Apart from those two, what, two goals in three minutes. We weren't in the game at all before that. We didn't see hardly any highlights. So that's really annoying. That's not the start that we wanted. United, six games against us. The four wins. Klaassen got a goal, debut goal, which is one good thing from that match, I guess. <sighs> right, so I need to work out what went wrong in that match. Klaassen got a debut goal, so that's good. Barkley needs to pick himself up if he wants a first team place. Yeah, Klaassen may well start in the next game. We'll have to wait and see. Um, let me find out when the Champions League draw is going to be because I think they've still got playoffs to do. So I'll have to look out for that. We will almost definitely be a pop four team, Everton. It's got to be. So um, yeah, uh, whenever that draw is, I will make sure to bring you that and then may maybe bring you like the two games after that or something like that. I will decide closer to the time because uh, uh, next. Uh, Norwich were promoted, Newcastle also promoted and Brighton won the playoffs. So that's good to see. Villa actually they run up to the playoff. So we almost had three promoted teams, three relegated teams back up, but Brighton won the playoffs. So um, I don't know what our next game will be. I think it depends on when that Champions League draw is going to be, but that I will definitely show you. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. So we start the season with a defeat. Not really the way we wanted to go. We were 3-0 down, brought it back to 3-2, which was, uh, well, nail-biting stuff, but we couldn't manage that third goal to save a point. And uh, yeah, we find ourselves bottom of the table, but we are the only team to have played our game, apart from United, of course. So, um, yeah, hopefully we get some results off screen. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Leave any comments you want to make. Still need a centre-back, so let me know who you think I should sign. And, well, our signings so far haven't really done very well, have they? So, uh, hopefully we'll see more of those guys. They did well pre-season, but this is the Premier League. Different kettle of fish. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time around, where we're going to find out who we draw in the Champions League group stage, so I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.